In this unit circle survival guide, we're going to find the exact value of cosecant of 3 pi over 2. And we'll get to use the simplified SARC method here. We'll simplify it actually to S and C because we're dealing with a quadrantal angle. And all that means is an angle that has its terminal side on an axis. So we get to treat it specially here. We don't have any um, ASTC to work with here since our angle is actually not in a quadrant. Um, and we don't have a reference triangle because our terminal side of our angle is actually, again, on an axis. So let's see how this works. So here's our simplified template. S will be for sketching the angle's terminal side. We'll quickly get the coordinates from that, and then we'll be able to calculate our trig ratio that we want. So this time we'll do the cosecant of 3 pi over 2. Okay, so let's sketch our angle. We have an angle in radians, and it's a positive angle, so we'll rotate in the counterclockwise direction, counting 0, pi over 2, pi, and here's 3 pi over 2. So our angle is here. That's the terminal side. Remember, we're working on the unit circle, so here's the origin. And we can quickly find the corresponding coordinates because we know the radius of the unit circle is 1. And so moving down from the origin 1 unit, these coordinates must be 0, negative 1. And now we can calculate our trig ratio. So we know that the cosecant of an angle on the unit circle is simply the reciprocal of the sine. And sine is the y-coordinate on the unit circle. So our cosecant ratio is 1 divided by y. So pretty easy calculation here. We have 1 divided by negative 1, and we found it. The cosecant of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. Be sure to check the video description for links to more worked examples, both of quadrantals and other angles, and for help with other unit circle topics. Thanks a lot for watching.